Samuel O. Gilmer was a dedicated and successful government meeting planner for many years. As an active member of many professional organizations for meeting planners, Sam quickly realized that while these organizations were useful to the industry, they rarely addressed the many diverse issues that government meeting planners faced. Sam Gilmer was a visionary. At that time, he was one of very few government employees who had the title of government meeting planner. He knew of the value of professionalism for his fellow government workers involved in meeting management. Sam had a dream of developing his own organization to help government meeting planners gain a stronger professional status and develop a more cost-effective approach to conducting meetings. The government had no guidance for meeting planners. He realized that the cost of meetings was considerable and that poor planning would um, fail to produce the desired results and be a cost, uh, would be a waste to the government. Through his own determination, Sam made his dream a reality. On October 29, 1981, in Washington, D.C., the Society of Government Meeting Professionals was born. In 1980, I met Sam Gilmer when I made a sales call on him in Bethesda, Maryland. At that time, he had a vision about the Society of Government Meeting Professionals. And today, that's an organization of over 5,000 executives. He put government meeting planning on the map. Sam's contribution to the industry is just, um, it's really hard to put into a short interview um, how everything has changed so much uh, with him organizing and uh, being the founder of um, Society of Government Meeting Professionals. Um, it has changed the outlook of the industry in looking at government business. It has taught the government planners how to plan their meetings uh, more professionally and how to do it more cost effectively. The Society of Government Meeting Professionals now provides information to both planners and suppliers on support services, conducting educational programs, and supplying pertinent legal, regulatory, and legislative information to its members. It also encourages all government planners to obtain the CMP designation. Today, because of his vision and his good work, we have job descriptions that are identified by the government uh, because of Sam's work. And today, the government meetings that occur are much more professional and much more effective, utilizing U.S. tax dollars to be more effective with outstanding outcomes. And I've got to say, when I first met him, he intimidated me because he was so sure of himself. And I'd never met anyone that was that sure to want to start an organization um, that had to deal with government without it being coming down from the government ranks. It was like we were stepping outside of the realm here uh, to start an organization. At its founding, the Society of Government Meeting Professionals had approximately 135 members. Today, its ranks are over 3,000 strong. Although Sam did not live long enough to see his dream reach its current level of success, his original vision continues to grow and thrive. Sam Gilmer was an incredibly funny man. We would be in the middle of a meeting and he would just cut up for five minutes, have us all in tears. I will always remember that about Sam Gilmer. He is truly missed. Sam Gilmer offered government meeting professionals a forum for addressing, understanding, and improving the manner in which they do business. He strengthened the bond between government and the meetings, conventions, and exhibitions industry, touching many lives along the way.